It's a rainy afternoon, and one of my favorite places to be is making art in my art studio. So here I am. I'm getting ready to do um, the ASP Art Club at Rocky Mount in Cobb County like I used to. And so I've been planning and preparing, and I wanted to share this. Um, so I'm going to show you my overhead. So I've got, I ordered these um, champagne flutes, right? So, but the kids tend to um, break them. There's one that's broken already because they press too hard. So we don't start with it assembled. What I'm going to do is have them make their, do their model magic on the table. And this is some soft model magic that I twisted together. And I found this website where they took um, markers and drew on the model magic and then mixed it in there. So I tried some of that. It doesn't work quite as well because it takes a lot of marker and a very small amount of the model magic. This is a half an ounce right here. And what you do is you take your marker and you, I was trying to make chocolate and you can see this took me a good solid 20 minutes, which is too long for kids during the ASP art. And, and I colored and twisted and colored and twisted and it still was really, really, really light. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna demonstrate this piece here because this is fun. And kids like to mix it anyway. It's just that time is, having enough time for that is an issue, um, you know, with having class. So you twist it and fold it over and, um, eventually you're going to see the brown coming through now you can see a little bit of it sorry a little bit of it there but it it takes a, a lot of time to get the color that i wanted so i'm going to go with plan b and i think we're going to just mix like this is a brown model magic that i mixed with a little bit of white this is a black model magic that i mixed with some brown to make sort of a dark chocolate color and and um, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. I'm not sure how this piece is going to fit in here, but I have a good chunk of it. So I'm going to go ahead without the uh, bottom piece on and I'm going to press this down gently, not too hard because I don't want to crush my plastic into my, uh, my piece here. And you can see the wonderful stripes uh, in, swirled in there. So I think I'm going to do this one in here. And press that in and now on the top I want it to have to look like uh, whipped cream and there are some fun ways to uh, to do the whipped cream you know you can roll a, a long snake and make a pointy end on on one end and then I can take this and just make this swirl like this going around the top i'm gonna need another another white packet now third through fifth is going to be the group that i see first on tuesday the 24th because there is a um what do you call it? early release day so um there we go i'm rolling it in my hands and i'm making a point on one end and then i'm going to take this piece I'm going to bring this around and make it come inside right here. There we go. And I got that little piece on top. That's good. Okay. I don't want to smush it too much with my fingers. All right. So, oh, that looks nice. Look at that. Look at that. Looks so real. Oh, yummy. Makes me want some ice cream. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in its container and I don't press it on the table because these tend to crack really badly so I've got that but now this has uh, purple mixed in with it because I wanted a cherry color so I wanted it to be um, more of, of that dark cherry color so I've got my cherry and what I want to do with the cherry is I want to have a little dented in place there to put the stem in so I'm just going to take a regular pencil and kind of make a, a hole like that for the um, stem all right, so I'm going to pull this back up so you can see. All right, so I'm going to put the cherry probably a little over to the side like that. And then I have colored craft wire. 
and I'm going to snip, this stuff is so soft, you can cut it with a pair of scissors if you want, but I also have some wire cutters. I'm going to snip a fairly long stem because I want it to go in deep. If it's too short, it falls out. So I'm going to curve it just a little bit and stick that down in there, and there you go. There is your wonderful ice cream parfait. I did mine in all different forms of chocolate because I love chocolate. But um, I have lots of other wonderful, fun colors for the kids to use. And this will be our first after school project uh, in the Rocky Mount ASP art. Thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you next time.